When I first saw how bottles were made, I honestly couldn't believe it. It's just crazy to see how much goes into actually making a bottle. I think most folks that you will speak to that are in the glass industry, uh, it does a very good job of getting its hooks into you. It's just an amazing process uh, when, you, when you see raw materials melted into molten glass and, and formed into different containers of different colors and you see your product in a grocery store or when you're out at a restaurant or a bar, uh, you really do see pride in, in what this company manufactures and that you've had a part in that. Arda Glass Packaging has a global footprint. Uh, clearly, we're represented in North America, but we also have operations in Europe and Africa. So we're a glass container company. Um, so we supply food and spirits. Um, it's real simple for me. Uh, we do make glass containers that, you know, that's what we do here. But the biggest part of our business here at the Burlington facility is people. So Arda's sustainability initiatives are, are quite ambitious. Uh, we, our sustainability strategy has three pillars. There's emissions, ecology, and social. It can be overlooked in sustainability as a social aspect. Uh, and so within our social pillar is our Arda for Education program. And so we've partnered with Project Lead the Way in North America. Uh, that's a $50 million commitment over 10 years. Arda chose Project Lead the Way as their curriculum resource in order to support school districts with pushing in engineering into schools. So all the courses that we have from the grant with Arda are all Project Lead the Way and all related to engineering. Without the grants, we wouldn't have any of the equipment or the technology or the staff training. It's important to me that we're investing in STEM education uh, because we we oftentimes hear and see reports that our public schools are underfunded and uh, teachers are having to uh, buy supplies with their own funds. And uh, I will say that my wife taught for 10 years and the passion and dedication and their own dollars that go into supporting students is really impressive, but also really disappointing. Uh, and so I'm very excited about this program that Arda is committed to. Uh, it sounds so corny. It's like, I really just want them to get a quality education. <laughs> So you can see the pen reading on your, on the microwave. STEM education is definitely important because that's our everyday life. I mean, the stuff we learn in here is relatable to everyone. You know, it's not just this abstract subject. It's your, your computers and your cars and, you know, just problem solving. It's just so real that the kids love it. And I love teaching it because seeing the passion in these kids' eyes and seeing their excitement and seeing them wanting to come in and talking about it outside of class makes it all worth it. I would say uh, three-fourths of our student population want to take a STEM course once they hit the middle school. And I do think it'll even increase over time with the infusion of the Project Lead the Way classes and coursework at the elementary level as well. I just think like the STEM program we have is really good at changing students' minds on the whole subject of STEM. Because I know I have a lot of friends and myself, I never really liked STEM until I took a lot of the classes and it was kind of growing on me. I definitely think there, I enjoy coming to class. Like STEM sounded like, seemed interesting at the moment. Like when I first like started at Crutcher, it seemed interesting because I wasn't really into art. So I wanted to be able to try and I like it. I've done it every year since. I do look forward to STEM every day because STEM is definitely my favorite class because I love coding. I really like that it's actually hands-on project, not books and like listening to videos and just taking a test right after. I like that we actually have to show that we understand. All right, so how this works is that when, when these are touching, it's just gonna nothing's happen except when they disconnect, then a light's gonna turn on and this is gonna start beeping and that's how the security system is gonna work. So when we were doing like an actual trip around the ground, like, like really long. Do you want like string? What happened? Not good. Uh, okay. Um, I enjoy definitely the teachers and the, like the people around me at 
Karcher, everyone's like super nice. The teachers make sure you know what's going on and that you can be successful in their class. I was very happy when my kids were here at Burlington School District, and I wish they would have been able to have what we're having now. Thanks to RDOP, thanks to the Burlington School District to think past the past and look forward. I grew up here. I went to school in Burlington. My children are in school here now. I'm excited for the opportunities that they get. I know that they love coming to these classes. My son's in eighth grade. He signs up for as many STEM classes as he can get. I'm very impressed with this initiative because we're able to make STEM more approachable and exciting for all students. So it's super important to me that we support our community because I've actually been born and raised in Burlington my whole life. So it's awesome to be part of a company that provides back to our community. We're definitely grateful for our dog's contribution and um, grant to Karcher Middle School because without this, we definitely would not have been able to afford all these materials, afford the training, and afford to give these kids this opportunity, which they otherwise would never have been able to get.